Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to examine Chingping human body sensor. So let's have a look. This sensor is available from online sellers and you can get it, for instance, on AliExpress for less than 15 US dollars. As always, you can find the link in the description. I would like to thank Ching Peng for supplying this item for testing. This sensor doesn't only detect movement, but also includes the light sensor. This means you can create rules to run the automations only when the light intensity is lower or higher than specified value. And I'll show you how to do that later in the video. As with all Xingping devices, you also get the instruction manual, which is in English. The most interesting feature of this sensor is that it has a magnetic base, so it is extremely easy to take down if you want to change the batteries, for example, or you just want to move it in other direction. The downside, mm, it doesn't have such wide angle as the classical Akara motion sensor. Since this is a BLE device, you will also need a BLE gateway. So if you already don't have one, let me point you to the video I made earlier about Chingping Bluetooth Gateway. We can have a brief summary of the device here. As you can see, it is a plug and play device. You just plug it into the AC outlet and the setup is a breeze. This one is also available for around 15 US dollars on AliExpress and I'll also put the link in the description below. So let's have a look at the installation. This sensor is really easy to open. You just have to turn and the top will separate from the sensor. Now you have to remove the insulator plastic in order to let the battery have contact and it will start working. So let's run Mi Home and set it up. First, we will press scan for new devices in the Mi Home. And as you can see on the screen, you have to press the pairing button on the sensor. The phone will ask your permission to turn on the Bluetooth. And if everything goes well, it should detect and install the sensor in Mi Home. Another great feature is that you can set motion reporting interval. You can select from anywhere between 5 and 60 seconds. I suppose the default 10 seconds should be enough and that the interval has impact on battery usage. As always, make sure you are running on latest firmware since this may have impact on performance or might solve some bugs or add some new features.
So let's create an automation. As you can see uh, what option it has. And after that, we'll compare these automation options side by side with a classic Akara motion sensor. Now let's check whether we see it under BLE gateways. And here is a comparison with classic movement sensor. As you can see, it has several more options concerning light intensity. Thanks for watching and if you like my channel, please subscribe.